Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy January 27th, day 27 of World Carnivore Month. We are just now pulling out of our new favorite coffee place. There you go. <laughs> Seven Brew Coffee. Oh, here. it's my favorite. What'd you get? I got a sugar-free blondie with heavy cream because we know that one has no carbs in it. So um, when they told me, that's kind of how I changed it up a little bit because I think they were using half and half which is okay, but it has more carbs than I wanted to in it. So I got heavy cream um, and it's great. And I got a the biggest size they have, black roast, uh, sorry, dark roast black, way too hot. I can't drink it yet. Um, and Ab they gave Abra a pup cup with two milk bones in it. It was yeah. so cute. So I got a little footage of her. She's in the back seat now eating one of her milk bones. So we're headed, oh, oh there, <laughs> there she is. is. <laughs> Good morning. She wants the other she one. She wants the other one. <laughs> we are headed home. We're going to take you along for the day, show you everything we eat. Yeah, and getting some boots today, too. Yeah, we're making our uh, weekly trip to Big Dog to get a growler of kombucha later. Because so. we're headed to Orlando tomorrow, so we'll be tomorrow, occupied there. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the Florida Flute Convention um, just for one day. And I'm going to ride along. <laughs> <laughs> It's a way to start the morning, isn't it? I'm really on a roll with my scrambled eggs and sausage for breakfast, so this morning before I'm even gonna finish my coffee, I have three scrambled eggs and three of the butterball sausage links. I'll show you. And I actually scrambled an egg and a fourth sausage link for Abra. That's gonna be her breakfast today. Okay, we're back from Merritt Island, and uh, we did not need to do another Walmart grocery store run, but we thought while we we're did. here, why not? Let's just do it. We still had plenty of food in the refrigerator left over from last week's grocery haul, but some of our new finds were great, so um, we went ahead and restocked up on a few things, and we found these. Harm crisps. Where were they? They were with the vegetables, right? Where, uh, like your salad toppers? Yeah. On, the, on an end cap where you would get like croutons, and this was, I mean, on the back it says to add to salads and sandwiches or eat right out of the bag or soups. 100% cheese. It's just snack. Parmesan cheese that's been baked in an yeah, oven. Yeah, aged Parmesan. Mm -hmm. it, um, uh, one serving is uh, one carb, but that's just the enzymes from the cheese. So we don't care about that. So there's two, only two servings in the entire Love bag. Love these. Um, 280 calories for the whole bag. 19 fat. 24 proteins and two carbs and zero sugar. I really sugars. can't wait to make like a cheese or a chicken dip and, and dip those in it. These right? were really, really good. For a snack, really how much good. protein was in them? 24 in the bag. So I think, honestly, if we were eating them as, as like a chip for a dip, yeah. it would be a bag for Jules and a bag for me, I think. It's, um, what, almost two cheese. ounces? So there's, there's a ton of chips in yeah. here. But I think for two people, if you were to use it, but yeah, like Julie said, we're looking at making um, maybe some chicken dip, some carnivore chicken dip. Or um, I make an egg salad. I can make an egg salad that's carnivore. It's carnival. gonna be hard not to just sit here and eat that bag like potato chips because you know a salt, a I'm salty, crispy, crunchy mm -hmm. yeah, crunch is, is not easy to come by. Show them. So representing yeah. it's a little bit larger than a quarter. Mm -hmm. um, They're very really, crispy, really good. very salty. They're good. Really good. Yeah. And Oven then, baked. It says so. No oils in that either. And we, Michael is making... I've got some pizzas. i got the little pizza squares again in the brownie pan. I've never um, tried one this way. Put in, put in He's one He's been for, making them a couple times this week, so he made me a couple even though I'm not even hungry. It's it's almost 2 o'clock. It's o almost 2, yeah. So I wasn't planning on eating anything before dinner, but the, um, I really want to try this pizza thing he's so obsessed with lately. The kombucha really helps curve 
my appetite and it did that again today because you know we get the free one when we get our our growler and she poured refilled. me half a kombucha because she accidentally over yeah. over poured for our growler so i got a free half a kombucha that was awesome but um anyway but i, I i'm i'm going to eat because I, I feel like i need to from working out today um i did run i did run today as the first day back with new shoes um, hip was fine, only ran eight miles, but ran eight miles at an 8.30 pace, so faster than, than what I had been doing, especially with days off, uh, multiple days off. So great, I'm um, getting a little bit hungry. Like we said, it's, it's 1.49, so it's a late lunch for me, but I did have a kombucha in between. Um, I made a total of seven of these little pizzas. I might have Julie try to eat a couple more, because I don't know why I made so many, knowing that dinner is probably three or four hours away. Not and, that long, um, I won't wait that long to eat. I think I'm going to have some taco meat today. I found a new sauce from that Siete brand that we like, made with avocado oil. And um, we got some more shredded cheese. So yeah, that may be what I have today. So this is what they look like, huh? Little pizza squares. Well, I took them out while they were still really hot. Probably should have let them set up a little better. <laughs> they smell good. You should have, uh, you should, you wanted one. Those are really okay, stinking so good. All right, four o'clock, and we are about to start cooking dinner. I think Michael is feeling kind of breakfast for dinner today. I am going to be making a half of a hamburger, a half pound hamburger, and then beef broth and beef broth, and making myself a soup. So that's my plan, and I will show you as I do it. This is my my half a burger on top of two of those little brown butter candies we made that we're now using for cooking because we don't love how they taste. We'll try that experiment again another day. Once that heats up, I'll add some broth and make a soup. Heavily about to salt this. So Abra's going carnival. half is her breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> to season my meat, I'm gonna use the other half of this Siete brand taco seasoning. I'm a awesome. mild, mild kind of girl. This is delicious taco seasoning. I'm gonna, my half a burger, that's what I'm putting in it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna fill this about, whew, not quite halfway cool. The meat's almost done cooking. Salted taco flavoring. And now I'm gonna boil this. And I am going very basic like Julie today. Um, although I'm not having soup and beef, I have two uncured hot dogs on the grill. I also have, I think, 11 pieces of sausage on the grill, and that's it. And I cut up some cheese and I have some pickles out. So and the new and the new uh, cheese chips. No, those are gone. We ate those. Those are already. Those are already. Did I eat those or did you eat those? I ate those. <laughs> but I'm like Julie. I don't really have a big appetite this evening for whatever reason. I don't. I don't know why. I know. Normally um, that soup would have been the entire pound of beef. Today I'm just yeah. gonna go with half a pound. I feel like that's all my body is asking I, for. So that's all I'm gonna eat. 
I think it was the kombucha in the middle of the day. I know. We don't usually um, drink kombucha in the middle of the day, and it just sort of made our bodies sort of think it was done, we were done eating. Almost, yeah. It, it really, it, it almost feels that way. So, anyway, meat heavy, uh, meat and cheese, I'm okay with that. I did, I am warming up the... Um, the queso, we got some more of that queso that Gordo, we had last week. Yeah. So, good. so I'll be dipping said meat in that. We got two containers this time. Um, and yeah, that's that's probably going to be all we eat as far as food this evening. Now, I'm going to have another kombucha. I don't know if Jules will. We found a new flavor of the Kavita Master Brew, which is a brand that I first started drinking kombucha on and got Julie turned on to. But they use organic cane sugar. Um, where GTs uses only kiwi juice and so we shifted away from Kavita but the one thing Julie really likes is that they have amber colored or light sensitive bottles so mm -hmm. that the really dark Bucha color. always tastes better when it's and in it an amber bottle. it tastes better in that and so for Julie's homemade booch that's what we want to do. So we keep um, those bottles and reuse them yeah. times over. So it was a very very good price on kombucha because kombucha has skyrocketed like everything else has. So we got two bottles of a ma mango lime. Is that what it is, Ben? Mango so lime. Mango I've never lime heard flavor. of this flavor. Can we yeah. try it? So we're going to try that um, this evening, too. Here we go. Okay. Sadly, everything I added to my soup sank to the bottom, but <laughs> I put a big pile of shredded taco meat cheese uh -huh. and a large dollop of sour Ooh. cream. <laughs> and then it's a half a pound of meat and uh, bone, uh, beef broth. Yeah. Cheese? Cheese. What have you got? Uh, bunch of sausage, bunch of sausage links, and, links sausage and sausage patties, all from Butterball. <laughs> We're obsessed with them right now. Yeah, we Two are. hot dogs, our pickles, and this Gordo's that we love. This the home style. Home, Only the home style. Yeah, check your ingredients because the other the other flavor they have had some ingredients artificial we didn't like. Artificial butter flavor. I don't know what artificial butter is, but I didn't want to look it up. But the home style flavor is delicious. I'm actually probably going to be putting some of that yeah. in my food. So here we go. That's dinner. And then there's the new jalapeno sauce from yeah. Siete. Siete brand is amazing. If you aren't carnivore, but maybe are gluten free or looking for like yep. low carb options or options that don't have um, flowers, and they use was almond flour they use and cassava flour. So those are it's really really good. Yeah, brand. like their taco shells yeah. and things. Everything but, yeah. that they make, we love, and it's all low carb or zero carb. This is all just um, avocado oil and um, oops, that's your, not oh, sorry, right and apple cider vinegar. Yeah, yeah, you can see there, it's good stuff. This, everything that we've tried from them, which is quite a few things now, at this point, yeah. we have loved. So, highly recommend Siete Brand. And that right there, that's our dinner for that's today. dinner. Good evening. Back again. Yeah, we got our bottles. Very pretty bottles. I have not heard of this flavor. I don't know if it's new or just one that we haven't seen before. But isn't that bottle pretty? Yeah, really. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. So. It's about 6 o'clock. This so, is Kavita Master Brew. We did buy this at Walmart today. They flavor their kombucha with uh, cane sugar, but then again, so do I. So um, usually if we buy one in a store, we'll buy GTs because they flavor with kiwi juice. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to try this one. I'm sure most of that sugar is basically fermented out anyway. What I think is interesting is when I first started drinking Kavita, calories were 60 and carbs were 16 with 16 sugars. They have reformulated. Now we've got almost half the calories and nine, if I can get it in there. If you can focus, total carbs is nine. Yeah. So even if that's true, I mean, that even if- even They've if made improvements, yeah, right? That's better than it used to be when we first started drinking Kavita. The one thing about Kavita, I think that's different than GTs other than their carb source is that they use sparkling water. So if you're not a sparkling water fan, the effervescence, like Julie's, uh, she all, doesn't always drink a full bottle when it's Kavita because of I that reason. Can't. It's too bubbly um, for me, but it is delicious. I do like sparkling water, so for me it's okay. But yeah, that's just another little detail difference between Master Brew. That wasn't very. I love that. Fizz. Yeah. And a brand new bottle. Wasn't very fizzy. But um, yeah, that's just another little difference between Kavita and GTs. Ours has uh, a little bit of that because of the gas that the bacteria naturally make anyway, but made with sparkling water. Yeah, is it different? Is it nice? That's really good. Okay. That is really, really good. Very, very bubbly. Very sparkly. Okay, good. I'm going to give it a try in just a second, but that I think is going to wrap us up for the 27th. So happy Friday. 
Hope everybody had a good day. We're going to get up in the morning. I'm sure Jules will vlog, but we're going to head to Orlando probably, what, around 7.30? Something like that? Uh, 7, 7.30? I wanted to be there by like 8.30, 8.30, 8.30. So, super early. We'll, we'll, we'll see what time we get on the road in the morning. We're going to the Florida Flute Convention. Yeah. Um, and then we have dinner reservations tomorrow night. Where we wanted to eat was at Disney Springs, but they were all booked up. The steakhouse we went to on my birthday. The boathouse, yeah. So we're going to... Um, did you make reservations? Mm-hmm. Firebirds. Uh, yeah, Firebirds. Firebirds. I've, we've never eaten at the Firebirds in Orlando, but we were big Firebirds fans when we lived in Charlotte. Yeah. Because they have awesome steaks, really good deviled eggs, and, we, you know, we love our deviled eggs. Yes. And also, you said they had crab cake on the crab menu, cakes. so we may yeah. be eating some of that too. I think we might. it'll still be a carnivore day tomorrow, even though we're traveling and we're yeah. going out. I'm not sure what we're going to take with us or eat along the way, but we'll take you there with us and we'll show you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Better believe it. Yeah. So have a good night. We'll see you in the morning for another day of January World, World Carnivore, Carnivore Month. Month. There's a few days left. Bye, have guys. a good night, guys. Bye.